Here we're going to look at question 78 from the IMAT 2011 paper. So in this question, uh, we're asked how many integers are there such that the difference between 2 root n and 7 is less than 1. So if you'd like to have a go at answering this question yourself, then please um, pause the video now, otherwise we'll have a go at doing it together. So to answer this question, let's begin by writing out this statement mathematically um, and seeing if we can make some sense of it. So saying the difference between 2 root n and 7 is less than 1, uh, we can write this down as saying the magnitude of the distance between 2 root n minus 7 is going to be less than 1. Uh, now this might not be an immediately obvious step, saying the magnitude of it, but um, let's say that the difference between 2 uh, root n minus 7 was going to be, um, say it was minus 5 or something. Then that obviously is going to be less than 1 in the sense that it is um, more negative than 1. But of course, we're, um, I think this question implies the magnitude of it by looking at the answers. So while this question isn't necessarily obvious, do try and have a bit of a think about what they probably do mean. Um, bearing that in mind anyway, what this actually means is that 2 root n minus 7 could be less than 1, and that 2 root n, n minus 7 must be greater than minus 1. Uh, so the, the, the difference between the two values is going to be between 1 and minus 1. Um, with that, anyway, we can work through each of these inequalities to try and find the ranges of n values which um, it could be. So we can add 7 to both sides of this left-hand inequality here to get 2 root n is less than 8. And then dividing by 2, we get the root n is less than 4. Um, or the n is going to be less than 16. Then if we go ahead and look at this other inequality, we can, of course, just add 7 to both sides again, divide by 2, and square, and square both sides to get that n is going to be greater than 9. So we know that n has to be between 9 and 16, and can therefore take on the integer values of 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Um, which means that n can take on six different integer values, which means that the answer to the question is going to be d. Now that n can take on six different values.